Holly, Death and Decay, a DPSN video blog. My name is Holly Atchison and I'm an artist. I like to draw dead things and I have had a go at taxidermy in the past and dissecting and I used to spend a lot of time in the anatomy museum drawing the plastinated body parts. How did you get into that? With the anatomy stuff, I was part of a collaborative art show a few years ago where artists got paired up with scientists, and my scientist was a forensic anatomist, and so she would take human skulls and she would build up the clay model of, of the face. I, I started out with, with that project in mind, and that project finished, and then I wasn't ready to leave the anatomy museum. My first time in there was really intense. Like I had these sort of massive waves of intense emotions and afterwards I sort of felt quite spacey but once I got used to it it was great and the, the students were all really cool they just left me alone and every now and then they'd walk behind me and go whoa look at that how was the experience you know I believe that when you die you die that's it even though I have that belief I still understood that these basically plastic body pieces once were driving a, a real living breathing loving laughing human and and so there, there's definitely this that sort of still still a respect for the physicality of what who, who that person was I, I remember picking one head up and there was still some stubble on, on, on the back of his head and just feeling that hair that was still soft was this this moment where I went, oh, okay, that's, that's right. This is a real, real person. What draws you to death? For me, it's just always been this, this huge interest of mine. I grew up in a semi-rural situation and sort of farming and there was a lot of shooting and fishing and, and my father used to work at the freezing works so we'd have carcasses at home. So it's, it's never really been a huge problem for me. When I was uh, seven years old, <laughs> my dad took me to his friend's killing shed and he had a sheep there and he told me how to cut its throat. I look back on it now and I, and I definitely think that those sorts of experiences have shaped my idea of death. From an artist's perspective, anatomically, understanding what goes on underneath the skin, it just it's so much better for drawing, particularly my portrait drawing and, and even my cartooning, the little bit that I do, just got so much better because I understood more about what was going on underneath. Do people react? Oh yeah, big reactions, really big reactions. Much more positive with the anatomy museum. Even people who freely admitted that there's no way that they'd ever want to go in there would still be really interested in asking me lots of questions and, and what I had to say about it. Um, with the taxidermy stuff, not not so much. Most people weren't okay with it. Um, and actually when uh, my girlfriend shifted in with me, she was quite horrified that I still had some stuff in the freezer and... Yeah, I had to get rid of them. <laughs> Do art and death go together? I oh, definitely. I believe completely because I believe that life and art go hand in hand and, and death is, is just a part of life. It's, it's absolutely everywhere. And if you're going to celebrate life through art, then there's definitely a place to celebrate death.